Hello. Storm Kira is going to hit the UK this weekend, bringing some very wet and very windy weather to all parts. As a result, we have a number of warnings in force as we could see some significant disruption. Take a look at the bigger picture and you can see the low that is Storm Kira waiting out in the Atlantic. It's going to sweep in as we go into Sunday, bringing an unsettled day to all parts of the UK. Once that clears away though, we'll end up in a colder, showery air mass. As a result, we do have the risk of some significant snow across northern parts of the UK. Back to Saturday though, and it's the calm before the storm, if you will. Lots of fine weather for many parts of the UK with some decent sunny spells, but notice this rain that's sweeping into the northwest. A warning is in force for Northern Ireland. We've also got very strong winds across northern parts. A warning here. We could see gusts 50 to 60 miles per hour quite widely, locally up to 75 miles per hour. So we are likely to see some travel disruption as well as the risk of some power outages as well. As we go through the end of the day and overnight, we'll see that rain sweeping across all parts. So it is going to turn very wet and very windy as we go through the night. The rain perhaps not reaching the far southeast until the very end of the night, while some wintry showers are likely to feed into northern parts later on as well. Temperatures will stay fairly mild, but it's not going to feel it if you're out because of all the wind and rain. As we look towards Sunday, it is going to be a very unsettled day. Very wet, very windy for all parts. The rain's likely to be heaviest across the high ground of parts of Wales, northern England, and the wind's likely to be strongest across parts of the south, particularly southern coastal areas, but also the bulk of England and Wales at risk of seeing some severe gales. Temperatures are actually quite a bit higher than you'd expect for the time of year, but when you factor in the wind and rain, it's really going to feel unpleasant. Taking a look at those warnings then, you can see we have a yellow warning across the whole of the UK, but it's this amber area affecting much of England and Wales where we have the greatest chance of seeing some significant impacts with gusts of 70 to 80 miles an hour, mainly around coast, but perhaps inland as well. We could see some flying debris and damage to buildings, and that does bring the risk of injury. As we look towards Monday then, and we, it is going to stay windy for many places, particularly towards the southwest here, another warning in force. For many, there'll be lots of showers and these will be readily falling as sleet or snow towards the north. As a result, we have a wind and snow warning issued here. Temperatures markedly lower than we've had over the weekend and with it still being blustery and in those showers, it's really going to feel quite cold. There are lots of warnings in force and they are going to be often updated as Storm Kira hits. So it's definitely worth keeping up to date with the full forecast on both the Met Office website, our app and all of our social media channels. See you later.